Hey, hello Houghton, Mr. Walsh here. So today I have an activity for you that I think you've heard of before. I've never done it in the gym with you. I never have, I've never made it a station, I've never asked you to do it until today. And I think it's great, I have no problem with it. So it wasn't that I didn't want to do it, I just, we just did other things. So we just didn't get to it. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the bottle flip challenge. Yeah, yeah, I know it was a big deal several years ago. So you kindergartners and first graders, you might not know what I'm talking about, but fourth graders, third graders, you probably do. Um, what's this, 2020? So probably like back in 2016, 17, I'm telling you, you put a bottle in a kid's hands and they were flipping it. So first thing you need, is a bottle, preferably plastic. It really needs to be plastic. You don't want to flip a glass bottle and you don't want to flip a water bottle uh, like a, like a um, uh, oh gosh, like an aluminum one, like a metal one, okay? You may dent it. I just don't think it would work quite as well. So this is the bottle that I found today. It's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. I wanted like one of those smaller Poland Springs water bottles, but that's okay, it's plastic and it's gonna do the job. So I put, uh, I fill it up completely with water, but that's too much water for this challenge. So you're going to uh, fill it up with water. This is a great chance to uh, practice good hydration, which means drinking enough water. And you're gonna fill it up and you're going to drink the water until it goes down to about half full. Except when I did half full, I was really having a hard time getting it to stand up. So I actually went to maybe one quarter full. You can experiment with that. Um, you may disagree. You may find that having it half full works better, but just test it and see. Okay, so I have, again, this is a bigger bottle than a Poland Springs bottle. So I have about 20 to 25% of my bottle full, okay, or filled up, okay? So I got this idea. Um, well, it's an idea that's been around, but this specific uh, lesson as well as the sheet that goes along with it that you will see next to the video is from a woman named, a PE teacher named Mrs. Miller. Uh, not our beloved Mrs. Miller in fourth grade. She, this Mrs. Miller teaches in New Hampshire and I got her idea from her YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Seacoast PE and there's lots of good ideas on it. So I thought it was time for me to do the bottle flip challenge with you, my Houghton athletes. So here's how it's going to work. You are going to flip the bottle 10 times, 10 times. If your bottle lands on its side like this, you need to do the exercise that goes with the number. So there'll be numbers one through 10 and each number has an exercise that goes with it. So number one is jumping jacks or jumping jills, 10 of them. So if you flip it and it lands like this, you have to do 10 jumping jacks or jumping jills. But if it lands like this, you don't need to do the exercise and you can skip right to number two and flip it again. So the basic rule is if it lands on its side, then got to do that exercise. If it lands like this, then you do not have to do the exercise. Okay. So I am going to show you the exercises really quickly right now. I think if you're really, really good at this, if you can flip it and get it to look like this <laughs> more often than not, then you're not really gonna be doing much exercise. So what I've done is I've asked all of my kindergartners, grades, uh, first grade, second grade, the, uh, so K to two, you need to do this whole exercise two times or two rounds. So really a total of 20 flips. Grades three and four, I'd like to see you do this um, activity at least three times. So going through the, the list of 10 exercises uh, three times for a total of 30 flips or more, okay? In K1 and two, you can do more than two rounds if you want. Two would be the minimum that I'd like to see you do, okay? So let's talk about these exercises really, really quick. So I said the first one is jumping jacks. So you'll do 10 jumping jacks, really good ones, monster, soldier, right kindergarten, monster, soldier, so 10 of those. The next one would be push-ups, 
right? So down, 90 degrees with your elbows, push back up. I'm asking you to do five of those, so that's the second exercise, right, for flip number two. Number three, cross crawls, crossing the midline. So your left elbow to your right knee, your right elbow to your left knee, so 10 times, cross crawl, really squeeze those abdominal muscles. Next one, squats, knees over the ankles, back straight, arms up, down, and up, okay? Sitting in an imaginary chair, right? Next one, invisible jump ropes. So pretty soon, gang, we're gonna be talking about jumping rope, so let's get a little bit of practice. Let's mime it. So imagine you're holding the rope and you're just gonna jump it, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 10. Next exercise is going to be soldier or shoulder taps. And you're going to be in the high plank push-up position. And you take your left hand, tap your right shoulder. Take your right hand, tap your left shoulder. So tap, 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 tap. Okay? Next one. Uh, mountain climbers. So back in that same position. Okay? Like this. Mountain climbers. Ten of those. Really bring your knee to your chest. Next one, 20 seconds run in place, but run as fast as you can, as fast, fast, fast as you can, as you count to 20. Next exercise. 10 seconds of holding a plank, so that could be a low plank on your forearms, or a high plank, high plank position. Just keep that body as straight as you can. And lastly, exercise number 10, is create your own exercise, an exercise that you love to do, an exercise that you love to do, um, or just make it up on your own, okay? Something that we've never done before in any of our videos, um, or an exercise that we have done in our videos that we just haven't done today. All right, let's get started. Okay, kiddos, I'm back. So I've been practicing my bottle flipping. Uh, I've probably flipped 30 times, and I was able to get it to land straight up and down like that exactly one time. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do one round right now. Remember, K to two, you're doing two rounds. Grades three and four, you're doing three uh, or more. But I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of exercises. I don't think I'm gonna be able to skip to the next number, but we'll see, we'll see. I should think positively. All right, so here we go. First flip. So if I get it on its side, I do not have to do jumping jacks, but if I get it, um, excuse me, I'm wrong about that. If I get it like this, I do not have to do jumping jacks. I can move to number two, but if it lands on its side, I do 10 jumping jacks. The thing about this gang is that I, I, I would never want exercises to feel like a punishment in any way because exercises are the best. So even if I do get the bottom like this, on its side, 10 times out of 10, I got a good workout. I did all of these exercises uh, to the best of my ability and my body's gonna be better off for it, okay? But still, feeling tired, it's gonna be nice to sometimes get it up like this, I think, so I could get a little breather and move on to the next one. But enough words, let's play. So it landed on its side, so I need to do 10 jumpy jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, on to exercise number two, it's push-ups. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Exercise number three, it's all about cross crawls. Yeah. Right, think I can get it, Jill? Yeah. Ooh, it's close, my closest one yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next exercise is squats. Okay, I've done a lot of squats today already, so I'll tell you the truth, I'm not gonna mind if it lands like this. Gotta focus. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Ten squats. That's okay, One, two. That's right, Jill. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next set of exercise is invisible jump ropes ten times, or jumping rope ten times with an invisible rope. Here we go. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threw in a few little tricks there. Next one, next exercise, shoulder or soldier taps in the high plank position, tapping the opposite shoulder. We did these way back in February for our fitness bracelet workout. No, oh, close. So in the high plank position, 10 taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You gonna make it a little bit harder for me, Jill? Yeah. Yeah? All right, next one. Mountain climbers, also the high plank position. All right, let me try it on a knee or two here. Whoa, almost. Okay, so mountain climbers. I think I have some company for this one. So can you come on up a little bit higher, Jill? On my back? Okay, hold on to my neck. Hold on, okay, good. Don't let go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's okay to do those a little bit slower. Yeah, I always do. Next one is 20 seconds of run in place. Right. What do you think, Jill? I think I can get this? Nope. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Woo, twenty! Alright, next one. Uh, whole plank for 10 seconds. Oh, All right. Plank. Oh, so, plank. so far I am 0 for 9 in getting it to stand up on its edge. Or on its bottom, rather. <laughs> not quite. So, actually, it was 0 for 8, not 0 for 9. Okay, so, ready? Hold oh, on tight, Jill. So, we're just gonna hold it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, hold on, hold on. Last one. This is create your own exercise. Create your own. I think I'm going to do squat jumps. So a squat jump is when you go down, squat, and then you jump up like that. Land softly on your toes like a cat, all right? Here we go. Squat jumps it is. Ready? I'll do 10. Ready, Jill? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay. So as you can see, I really need to practice my flipping, my bottle flipping. I was O for 10. O for 10. But, like I said before, I got a really good workout. I just did 10 different exercises. And I feel great.